Welcome to part three of the uh, computer hardware for CAD, the City and Guilds information ready for the test. Hopefully you've watched part one and part two. Uh, in this short video, we're going to talk about data storage. So in this session, we will identify a range of data storage options that can be used for CAD system and you'll be able to describe the use of some of the digital and visual storage media for CAD. So computer data storage, what is it? Um, well, it's a vital part of any computer system um, and is how we collect and store all the data that we've calculated or created. So in a CAD scenario, you may spend a few hours creating a CAD model and some drawings if you're not able to save that in any way, whether that's physical copy or as a digital copy, then once you turn that computer off, all of that information will get lost. So data storage is majorly, majorly important. Um, and there are lots of different ways we can do this. And we're just gonna to touch on a little bit of information for each of these um, as we go through this slide. So first up, you'll be well aware of some digital data storage devices. So um, we, I'm just gonna get my pen ready. Um, so very old school, um, a floppy disk, um, used to store 4.1 megabytes of data. Um, very uh, volatile uh, in the fact that they were easy to break. Uh, we then have these little uh, SD cards and micro SD cards. Um, these SD cards are still used quite a lot for photography um, and to go in little handheld devices and also for 3D printing. Uh, and the size of these can vary enormously. I've just bought a micro SD card to go in my phone, which is about this big, and it has got 128 gigabytes of data on it. Um, in such a small device, it blows my mind when you consider that this would hold 4.1 megabytes and there are 1000 megabytes in a gigabyte and this will hold 128 gigabytes. OK, next one we have here is a little flash drive. Um, you're all familiar with these. And again, we'll give a little bit of information as I go through other slides on these. Um, again, the size of these can vary enormously now. I've seen one of these up to one terabytes, which is a thousand gigabytes. Um, so massive difference between the size availability of these two. So next we've got a CD-ROM, um, which is uh, basically a read-only CD. And uh, these can hold uh, around 70 minutes of music. Um, so we're getting on towards four gigabytes for those. Uh, we also have um, a hard disk drive and um, a solid state drive. And those can be internal or external. So an internal one is built into the computer tower or into your laptop or into your phone and it's part of that device whereas an external is a hard drive of some sort which can be connected up to a uh, tower or to a laptop or to your phone so that you can move storage uh, data around to different computers We're only going to look at a couple of these in a little bit of detail and really it's not much detail at all um, just given the basics of this so just as a quick recap from session one where we looked at some of the uh, we looked at a hard disk drive and a, uh, an SSD um, just to refresh your memory a hard disk drive basically has a disk um, that spins and we have a little arm here with a little I suppose a little needle head which will read and write data so there's physical movement on this drive the solid state drive is just a set of memory chips that store data so there is no moving physical parts on here and the benefit of that is that it requires less power and they are more reliable than the uh, the hard disk drives so these are useful in CAD because when you create a CAD model you can easily save it onto 
uh, the hard drive or the, the solid state drive that's part of the main computer that you're working on. And that's where the software will also be um, installed and saved. So you can just save your models and your drawings and any other data that you create directly onto the computer's drive. The next one then is a uh, flash drive, so a USB stick or USB pen, memory drive, memory unit, there's lots of different names for these. Uh, they connect up via USB. Um, vastly diff vast differences nowadays in the size of the USB pens that you can get um, depending on how much you want to spend and how much data you want to move around. The big benefit with these are that they're not fixed into the hard of the computer it's part of the system but it's not fixed into your laptop or fixed into your computer tower which means that they're great for just carrying data around uh, just looking for one here so uh, got one here which I keep my data on or some of my data goes in my pocket I can get the data and use it on any computer that I, I can plug this into or even my phone um, so not part of the main computer system no it is part of a main computer system it's not part of the actual hardware itself it's not built in so i can move stuff around so this is useful if i want to share files with different people or share drawings without having to create a physical copy Okay, so the next one that we're going to look at is a computer storage uh, of computer storage is a CD-ROM. Now CD-ROM stands for a compact disc read only memory. So a compact disc will contain information that is read only. You cannot record and save data onto a standard CD-ROM. Okay, you can onto a rewritable CD if you have that technology available. Um, however, a CD-ROM is read-only memory. Now, when you buy uh, DVDs, when you buy music CDs, when you buy computer software, if it comes in a hard format, a physical format, it will be on a CD-ROM. So you can't delete it, you can't add different files to it, you can't change the files that are on there. Um, so it is a read-only device. Okay, so now we're just going to very quickly look at a couple of the visual options um, for storing or outputting uh, data from a CAD system. So we have printers, uh, we're all familiar with these. Um, there are plotters that are available, and we're also going to look at VDU. So we're all well aware of what a printer does. It's an, an external hardware device, which means it's not built into the computer but it is part of the computer system. Um, you can generate hard copies of data, whether if you're using CAD, it will be drawings, it could be reports, um, it could be three-dimensional um, photorealistic images that you've created in CAD, but you're actually creating a physical hard backup copy of what you've done on the computer. The unfortunate thing with these hard copies are that you can't feed them back into the computer to recreate them um, unless you physically or manually recreate the parts such as what we've done in the classroom where you've got a physical drawing of parts that I've created and saved in that drawing format and then you've rebuilt them on a computer. Um, obviously very very popular, um, really good for creating copies, hard copies of things that you can then give to different people. Um, if it's a sketch or a drawing or a model, you can use it then to go off and create additional annotations and notes on if you're in a meeting, etc. So that when you come back to the physical, uh, you come back to the digital copy of what you've created, you can quickly amend it and update it uh, on the computer itself. Uh, the next one is a plotter. So what is the difference between a plotter and a printer? They're very, very similar. They're not that popular these days. Um, a plotter will actually 
uh, create um, lines on the paper in a different way than a printer. A printer will print millions of little dots everywhere of ink and a plotter will actually do it in a different way. So sometimes there's actually a little pen on the older types of plotters, a pen that would actually just be mechanically moved to create the lines. So you don't have all the little dots. Um, the only, I think, real big difference that you need to be aware of is that um, with a normal printer, you're often limited to up to A3. So have A4 and A3 is twice the size of A4. Um, with a plotter, you're looking at usually very large scale uh, line drawings or vector drawings. So we're looking at things from A2, A1, A0. Um, and it, it's kind of an older technology now because you can get bigger printers and the benefit with a printer over a, pro, a plotter is that a printer um, is uh, often a lot cheaper um, and uh, usually is uh, uh, more uh, predictable, uh, more reliable than a plotter would be as well. So plotters for making large scale schematics, large scale drawings. So if you've got a drawing with lots of data and you need to print it really big and a printer is often used for things A3, A4 or smaller or text documentation. That's the couple of bits of information you really need to know. Um, using a visual display unit as a computer output, is it a storage device? Hmm, I'm not too sure. Um, however, um, in the specification for this unit, um, it does describe a VDU as a storage device. Um, I'm a little bit confused by that. However, here it is. I'm going to present it anyway because it's something you could potentially use if you were asked a simple question in a test. Um, so the MIA monitor isn't a storage device as such because it's a volatile device, which means that when you switch it off, the information that was on that screen disappears. Um, however, it can be used as a short term storage device um, for 3D models, for 2D drawings, etc. Um, which, let's say, again, you're in a design meeting, um, you can put all the information that you've previously created on that VDU, and then you can have some design discussions around that. Okay, and there we go, nice and short this one. Um, six questions this time, again. 40 words, just a couple of sentences. So describe our hard disk or a, oh, I've done a typo there. So that should be a solid state drive. Uh, can store CAD data. Describe how a flash drive can be used in a CAD scenario. Describe how a CD-ROM would be used in a CAD office. Describe the role of a printer in a CAD system. Describe the role of a plotter in a CAD office. Uh, and describe how a VDU would be used in a CAD meeting. So again, it's just about you getting some notes together ready for this test. Nice and easy. Good luck.